Hello babes! My microwave is telling me to get my soup because I'm warming up my butternut squash soup. So if you guys have not watched my most recent what I eat in a day, make sure you guys do. It has the butternut squash recipe in there. Still a little bit frozen in the middle. And if you guys want this recipe, it is in that what I eat in a day, so make sure you guys check it out. Jess is coming over because we're going to be doing some plant shopping today. I just opened up a package from Amazon. I'm actually filming a Amazon haul. So it's probably already gonna be up, but I got this really pale pink hoodie that is so super cute. And then I got this little planter plant stand, which is so adorable. Comes in black or white, so if you guys wanna shop any of these items, make sure you guys check out that haul that I did. It was my first Amazon haul. As I repotted this baby, look how cute she looks. I planted her in this larger, like taller black pot that I had, and I came home and I was like, no, I have a different plan for it, so it kinda just sat inside my closet. That might be her texting me. Where's my phone though? My bag can be like a maze. She said she's 10 minutes away and I haven't even eaten. Oh my God. And let me show you guys this. I put it inside of a bag because I want to take it with me. This was a DIY vase that I did. So it was really dark chocolate. I can put a before for you guys over here. Um, and I turned her into this beautiful clay stone looking pot. I found this pot at HomeSense for $19.99. Pots like this are like 70, 60, 80 dollars. Because I have this pot now. <laughs> Guys, I'm plant crazy and now I'm getting Jessica into them. Now I want this one and that one. I'm like, oh, that's how it starts. If you guys are not plant crazy and you've just, or haven't been plant crazy in the past, and you are now and I'm to blame, let me know down below. I take full responsibility. I'm not sorry for it. Like that's, I'm definitely not sorry. I'm cleaning up your air. So there's this new plant that I saw at the nursery when I went with Jess and I've never seen this plant in my entire life. Guys, there's like barely any photos of this plant so that's how rare it is. So it makes me want it even more. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to eat. And I'm also gonna show you guys some fall pieces that I got, some new fall stuff. It's time for like the fall hauls just to... I got four already, no five. That's what I do to people. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they have like a mini bird of paradise. Isn't this the Chinese evergreen? Look at this one, guys. That's pothos. It's pothos. A part of me likes this, but the other part of me is like, it's not my style. That's the one that I have, the Marble Queen. Yeah, I want the Chinese evergreen though. I think they'll right. have that. That's right, I know names. Oh my God. I know names. I know, like you're kind of impressing me. You're like, I cannot. This one's beautiful. It's just not quite my style, but I just cannot with the, I, I don't know, I can't get over. Crispy, crispy. <laughs> crispy, crispy. <laughs> How thin it is. Guys, just wants to get the aluminum plant and I think it's ugly. It looks like metal. Look at I'm sorry, I'm pot. a real plant lover, but like, I don't think every plant is pot, cute. Accents, the silver. So cute. That's natural. Don't give me that fake cute. <laughs> Guys, let me show you the one that I want. Okay, there's only two left now. This one. Look how gorgeous she is. Look at her leaves and look how rare this is. She looks so good. I took out my pot literally in the store, guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is even allowed. <laughs> no, it is. So they pot your plants for free. Um, so bring your pots if you want to your plant nursery and they'll plant it for you guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. Just got, well, technically three. That's two in one. One in there and she bought that from the previous store. So this is what happens when you hang out with me. Do not hang out with me. Guys, look how cute she looks by this wall. She just adds this really beautiful, fresh, oh my god, I'm, oh, to die. She just looks so beautiful here. I love you so much. I'm about to show you guys all of these pieces, and I'm also going to go through a couple of looks that you guys can kind of style using all of these. I am so in love with everything that I received from Just Fab. Thank you to Just Fab for sponsoring this video. Like, oh my god. Like, isn't this just fabulous? Guys, I love my corny jokes. They're just so funny. Honestly, I think by now you guys probably know them because I've worked with them a few times and I absolutely love them and they are a one-stop shop. They have shoes, handbags, coats. They have accessories. Every single thing you're looking for, Just Fab has it. They do it at affordable prices. They're always on trend. They have this 60-second quiz that you guys will take and it's super, obviously, quick and easy. At the end of it, they will give you a personalized showroom with all the pieces that they feel kind of match your style. It's super convenient and it saves you a ton of time. They have over a 1,000 pieces you guys to choose from. After you guys are done the quiz, make sure you guys enter your emails. I always mention, I know that a lot of people don't like to do that 
it up, you'll get monthly discounts and promos every single month. Plus, you'll get the inside scoop and the first kind of look at everything that's gonna come onto the website. So don't forget to enter your email at the end of the quiz. You guys can check out as a guest or you guys can check out as a VIP. So with VIP, you guys will get 30 to 50% off all regular prices. Plus, you guys will get free shipping on all orders only over $39. That is not a lot. It helps a ton, guys, when you are a VIP. So if you are new to Just Fab and you've never heard of them before and you kind of want to try them out, make sure you guys use my link down below in the description box. You guys will get your first Just Fab item for as low as $10, which is 75% off. So make sure you guys use my link down below in the description box to get the offer. They change their sales monthly and a lot of the stuff gets sold out. So anything I show you guys today, if you guys want to grab it, I definitely suggest you do. So I'm wearing their pale boot. I love a pointy toe on a boot. It's like my favorite because I feel like that's what kind of dresses it up. Then I have this plaid coat from them. I kind of love the oversized sort of plaid pattern. It is so comfortable and I will leave all the sizing that I have down below for you guys. And then I'm adding in my white bag that I got from them. Guys, I match my whole entire place. Like look at the black and the white. I love this outfit. The trend in plaid right now is so massive it's not even funny. I die over this bag. Also comes with a crossbody strap. I just have it on the inside. So when I put on these boots, I'm like, why does it feel like it doesn't even have a heel? Guys, these are so comfortable that they actually feel like they're flat. And this trench coat though, this is something that everybody must have. Funny enough, I'm saying that, but I don't even have one. I haven't been able to find a really cute, perfect one. So thank God for Just Fab for sending me this. You know what she says? She's like, watch yourself. A little bit more edgy. These boots though, they're so comfortable. That makes you feel like they're literally flat. And I'm wearing it with this really kind of basic oversized bag. This is a really great like weekend bag, school bag. It's just really great even for the airport. So this jacket, I actually did it plain, but it came with this teddy collar. Look how cute that is. I just wanted to show you guys both ways, so I took it off for you. Do you guys like those fall looks? Let me know down below if you guys absolutely love them, which look is your fave. I'm gonna show you guys right here how super easy it is to go on their website. I like to go to new arrivals, and I also mentioned they have a boot shop, and they also have a fall shop, which I think is the cutest thing. Plus, it makes it super easy to kind of shop for the fall season right now. Don't forget to look up all the pieces that I left on screen with their names. Look them up on their website when you guys are using my link. So if you guys want to get that first piece with them for as low as $10, which is 75% off your very first item with them, make sure you guys use my link down below in the description box. If you guys are looking for an affordable one-stop shop somewhere that it's really super trendy, they're super unique, and again, all you have to do is take that quick. If this is something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys check out Just Fab. Speaking of fall, tomorrow, guys, we're going to be doing my banana bread recipe plus my pumpkin spice latte recipe, which I have the rest in front of me right now. So I'll see you guys then. This has been a recipe that you guys have been asking me for for a while, and I just have not had. I should have, like, pulled out my camera last time, but I totally forgot, and I was, like, in my baker zone. I do enjoy banana bread, and I also get a lot of people saying, give us some dessert ideas, something sweet that you will eat. Number one, I'm not really a sweet tooth. Number two, I'm not really a dessert person, but, of course, I'm... Honey, I'm still human. I still crave like sweet things from time to time, especially really close to my cycle. So a banana bread is something that I enjoy. So this recipe actually came from my mom. I asked her for her banana bread recipe because I love the way she makes hers. So certain things that she would put in it or the amounts that she would put, I would kind of, I'd be like, you know what, let me just put less of that or let me take that out and put this instead. To make it kind of fit my sort of diet and my lifestyle and how I like to eat. Yeah, I kind of just made it my own, but Thank you to mama for her recipe. I'm gonna be doing like a low kind of style. I've also done the cupcake sort of style. You guys can do that if you wanna just kind of grab one quickly before you go to work and you can just eat it like a muffin sort of style. But I'm making the loaf and then I slice it up into slices. I have pre, by the way, rubbed it with a little bit of my olive oil spray and then I've just spread it around. Who is calling me? I've been getting these like random numbers. Like stop calling me. Is this a baking spatula? I'm not really sure what this is called. And then I have this masher that I love to use and one big bowl to mix everything up. I'm using some pecans so you guys can use any type of nut that's your favorite. I just like to use pecans. That's kind of my favorite. The first time I made it, I used almonds. So let's get started. I think I'll also have time to do my pumpkin spice latte with you guys. You're also going to be needing your little cup set, your measuring cup set, and also your measuring spoons. Add our baking powder. So this is the one that I used over here. Four teaspoons of that. 
I like to put everything aside once I'm done with it so that it just makes the cleanup a lot easier. So two teaspoons of uh, baking soda. And the first one we used was baking powder. So one teaspoon of salt. But me personally, I just kind of do it by eye. Next thing you're gonna do is one cup of sugar. So with the sugar, I kind of always adjust it. So sugar bloats me a lot. And this is not exactly one cup, but I'm going to use kind of a little bit less than what I have right now. You guys can do a cup of sugar or less. Let's just say this is about three, I'd say almost three quarters of a cup. It does take one cup of sugar, but what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of my sugar-free vanilla syrup. This allows it to be zero calories. And you guys can only use this. Like I was actually debating just using this instead of putting the sugar, but I do want to show you guys this is what it normally takes. I'm gonna grab two medium bananas. So I actually just used this one this morning. And it's kind of just a half, so I'm going to put that guy in there. And you can also just kind of break it up so that it helps you a little bit. So that's one and a half. Okay, that's that. We are going to add our milk and then we're gonna mash up our bananas already just so that it's easier when the flour goes in because that is the most driest component. Two cups of almond milk and then what I like to do is I like to pour one cup at a time. So this is our one cup measuring cup. The reason why I like to pour one at a time is so that you see the consistency of your bread. Just in case your measuring is off or anything, it's just kind of like a safety precaution. I kill myself, I seriously do. Like I just, I'm just constantly like all about safety. So just use your masher and we just wanna get these guys all mashed up first. I'm gonna add in one egg. It takes more than one egg, but I don't wanna put it, so. The other thing it's asking for is vanilla extract, but what I use for my vanilla extract is my vanilla syrup. I kind of replace that with that liquid. I also wanna show you what flour I buy, just in case you guys are curious. So I buy this one by Miller's, uh, Miller's Pride. That's what it's called in this green bag. And this one is bleach free, no preservatives, non-GMO, and it's vitamin enriched. And it's just a white all-purpose flour. I don't like um, whole wheat flour. You taste it and I just, I'm not a fan. We're gonna be using two cups of flour, but you don't wanna put all two cups at the same time just because you want it to be a little bit easy on you when you are uh, mixing up your mixture. So I'm gonna put in my first cup inside of here. Continue to do like a mashing motion and you're gonna see obviously it's starting to get a little bit thick. Are you guys excited for this recipe? I really think you guys are going to love it. I'm just gonna slowly add. And at this point, we're also going to add olive oil. Olive oil is gonna add some moisture into your bread. I like to put a third of a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna add the rest of my two cups. This is the rest of the almond milk, just letting you guys know. As the more thick the consistency is, you guys are gonna get a more dense bread. If that's the way you like yours, then that's a tip that I have. You can probably make your mixture a little bit more thick. Jessica actually spreads Nutella on this and she says it tastes so good. That's too chocolatey for me, but that's a tip if you guys want to try that out. This is literally what it takes. The last thing you want to do is put in your pecans. I like to go by eye and see how much nuts I like to put inside of here. It also depends how nutty you like your bread to be. You guys can also put some only at the top of the loaf if you want to. This is kind of the consistency I like for my bread. A little taste. Mmm. Okay. That is absolutely perfect. My oven has been preheating to 350. You guys can also raise it up to like 375 or 400, depending on how fast you want it to get done. A 400 is probably the max. I don't like to go 450. So the interior is so mushy, but then the top is getting so burnt and golden. Guys, I'm a baker now. Aren't you guys proud of me? Kind of sprinkle what my mom does is she used to sprinkle some of this over top. Maybe this time I'll do it for you guys. I don't like to put too much because nuts are really high in calorie and because I'm eating those too. And now we're ready to put this guy in the oven. And kind of keep an eye out on it, guys. Open up your light, do not open the door. Open the light if you guys have one in your oven and just check up on it. The real way to check once it's done is grab a knife, put this through. If you still see that in here it still has dough that's raw on the inside, it is not ready, let it be there. If it looks a tad bit like moist, just, just a little tiny bit, turn off your oven, let it sit there for a little bit, check up on it again after five minutes. If you put your knife through and it comes out super clean, remove the bread and let it cool off on the top. So we will be right back. 
let's get started with our pumpkin spice latte i know everyone's excited for this too so i have here instant espresso if you guys have an espresso machine just make yourself an espresso this is actually nescafe gold um, espresso i'm actually going to be sweetening this just with my vanilla zero calorie um, sugar-free syrup so i'm just going to be putting one two kind of in a half not really three because this thing is super sweet you guys can do stevia or whatever you normally do but i feel like the vanilla really helps to warm up the whole latte with the pumpkin a little tiny bit of cardamom i really love the flavor that it kind of adds to it and it's not it's not like super super strong of course cinnamon i like to put a little bit not too much nutmeg i'm also going to put inside of it I barely use guys in my cooking, but I do use it in this latte, of course. Most importantly, I bought this because I saw that a lot of recipes called for it. Pumpkin pie spice. It is by Clubhouse. So this you're going to be needing the most of. Um, most highest ingredient that's inside of here. So I do like to put a good dash of that because that's what's going to give us that flavor. Quickly mix that all up. We're not going to fill this guy to the top because we're still going to froth our milk. Our frother. I love using this guy by Sakura. And we're going to use almond milk. You guys can use whatever milk that you want. But I like using almond milk, number one, because it's the lowest calorie. And that's how I order my drink with Starbucks. But I would say about this much around the whole entire thing. I like to grab a little bit of this mixture. We're going to put one, two, and about three. Then we're going to put a little bit more pumpkin spice to flavor. I kind of like to stop it almost towards the end. Look how gorgeous she is, you guys. And it is so, so, so good. Honestly, I think you're going to love this. If you already are a pumpkin spice latte fan, let's take our gorgeous loaf out of here. Gorgeous. You see what it does when you put the pecans over top? We're going to let this guy cool down because it's super hot right now if you have a non-stick pan it should jump so you see how this is literally coming out like it's nothing and i just have my little glass container over here um, and i like to use a really nice sharp knife so that you get a really clean cut let's see what this guy looks like on the inside so i can show you look at it it looks so good i love that it's really nice and super moist inside so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the rest of our banana bread. I just tasted it, oh my god, it tastes so good. I actually am gonna list everything down below in the description box. For those of you who like it in writing, I will leave it for you guys down below. I'm gonna go eat this up right now and it's super nice and warm. All right, babes, I hope you guys enjoyed the recipes, this fall kind of vibe that's going on right now on my channel. I'm kind of loving it. I'm into pumpkin spice now. I am baking, like I just, I don't get it guys. I'm, I'm making squash soup, like it's changing me all. There's gonna be more coming your way. I have some fall hauls that I'm gonna be doing, clothing hauls. So that is definitely coming up on the channel. And don't forget guys to check out my latest What I Eat a Day if you guys want some more fall recipes with the butternut squash soup. If you guys are not following me on IG, make sure you guys do. It is at Steph G Macedo. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and also click that little bell right next to the subscribe button so that you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.